Saturday, the 18th of August 2018, has arrived. A very significant day in the life of the two of you, Peter and Rose. You have had your traditional ceremony, which was important and a great day for you and your families and friends. But I know that today is the high point because you are here in church, pledging yourself to one another before God, as well as before all of us, your friends and family gathered here. Rose and I met at Bruno University, um, first year of uni. One of my friends, Papa, who's actually one of my groomsmen, introduced Rose to me, um, and I, and we became friends since then. The shit is really good. My name is Papa. <laughs> One thing that sort of you would know about Rizman is by far she is probably one of the kindest people I have ever met. Yesterday they didn't bring the socks. You may have the socks. So you got the socks in, so you put your socks and your shoes on. Yeah. Okay. I've known Peter since he came to London as a, relatively speaking, young boy. The bottom part was Drew, then Shri. He was much smaller then. <laughs> both shorter and narrower. <laughs> For me, I've actually known Peter from the first day he started at Central Foundation School. It was my job to actually make sure he settled into school. Rose will be feeling quite um, nervous. Um, she's a perfectionist like me, hoping that everything goes according to plan. I met Peter in final year. And for those who were present, final year was an emotional roller coaster. It was a time when um, great friendship was forged and we really bonded with each other. Peter the friend was someone that would have us sleep on his floor rather than sleep outside. Well, you can tell everybody. Yeah, you can tell everybody. Go ahead and tell everybody. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. We all need to be here. Just yeah. everybody to be here. Come. There's been a lot of happiness. We've had tears. We've had a lot of memories to sort of share. He doesn't need to be here to stand around. He can actually iron the shirt. And when he does need to be here. Okay. Somewhere I heard that life is a test. I've been through the words, but I still get my best. God made my mold different from the rest. Then he broke that mold, so I know I'm blessed. Stand up now and face the sun. Won't hide my tail or turn and run. It's time to do what must be done. Be a king when kingdom comes. Well, you can tell everybody. Yeah, you can tell. Wow.
Wow! Amazing! Some of you know, and all of you need to know, that food has been central to this growing relationship between Peter and Rose. I knew Rose had had an impact in his life when he started to look like this. My baby is too sweet. Okay. For a couple of years, <laughs> when you're looking for someone to settle down with, um, sometimes the person is right in front of you, but you don't see it. Can I eat this? <laughs> <laughs> The amount of times at uni he would say, this is the woman I want to be with. But he didn't feel like he was the person that she would want. Oh. So over time, he would always say, nah man, I want to be the person that when she sees me, she knows. That is Peter the man. And we are all here to celebrate this man right here. She was there the whole time, but I could not see her. I could never see her until I saw God. When I saw God, that's when I saw Rose. When I chose to put God first, that's when I saw my wife. wore a ring on your wedding finger from we were 13 years old and you used to always say to me that when it's time you will know what's what what's going on in terms of everyone else leaving here though because male and female that isn't a part of yeah. me and you That's all three. jump Inside the limo, so, yeah, so us two are jumping in the car. With yeah, okay, right. Right. So, so. Yeah, no. Intentional. <laughs> Peter had made up his mind and told Rose that he wanted her to be his. Why? I remember when he came home and he said, I'll find a wife. And I was like, to God be the glory. My soul, brother. You made it. We made it. We've been through a lot. I appreciate you. For me, it is a blessing because this is my first friend. <laughs> and I believe it's working for me. 
<laughs> this goes way back. This, this is not just you in Central, man. It's work. It goes way back. To be here to celebrate on the most important day of his life thus far. It's a blessing to see every face here to celebrate the union of this two. So we ask you, Lord, that you may bless their marriage, Father, that it may not just be today, but today may be a sign of the success of their marriage, and that, that, that the days to come and the years to come, Lord, will be glorious here. We are enabled to love because Christ first loved us. This is something that Peter and Rose firmly believe. Their faith is at the center of their individual lives and at the center of their relationship. Today, Rose and Peter, you and we are aware that there is no greater compliment that one person can pay to another than to risk and to desire a lifetime spent in the each other's company. Today, your love for each other engages your future, your future as a married couple. When I see her coming down the aisle, I think I'll be quite emotional um, I'll be a bit I hope not to cry forever and a while in my heart is where you'll stay this is why I love you I feel excited that I'm um, finally my wife is here um, finally the um, key to my heart is here finally my other half is here is your doing and it is marvelous in our eyes lord we know that this couldn't have been possible without you oh god and so we came here to say thank you I know we're going to do amazing things um, to be a living testimony to God and I also believe that we're going to become great together.